What is going on everybody today? We're gonna to be taking a look at something that's been requested a lot on this channel to talk about, which of course is cyber hair. Cyber hair is a pretty interesting material that is supposed to mimic human hair. Now the biggest seller when it comes to cyber hair, I'll just spoil it for you guys, is the fact that cyber hair seems like it can last like forever, for like for years versus a hair system which can last maybe three, four, five months. So that's the reason why we're gonna be looking at it. But we'll talk all about that stuff and if it is a good option for you in 2021 2022 I guess is coming around, around the corner this video is sponsored by Lord hair so make sure you check out the link below if you want to get your first system from them with up to $40 off but let's just jump into the video shall we so there is not a lot of information out there when it comes to cyber hair as far as different providers, uh, people that have different information out here. But I did find this website and this comes from the World Hair Institute. And it says a hair that's as close to real as it gets. So cyber hair, which this is a this is a, a, just a trademark. Um, we can see that by, you know, the R that's right here, the, the rights reserved. So uh, we know this is a trademark that that's uh, it's just a patented technology. If you will so the primary way that this is actually different from a regular hair system is almost all hair systems are human hair that we are wearing on top of our scalps uh, save some of the gray that is found in hair systems that is sometimes considered a synthetic material uh, probably because it's harder to source I imagine now I have scoured the web and I have not really found anything when it comes to people talking like recently meaning in the past year about cyber hair videos promoting it uh, before and after transformations all that stuff but what I did find is basically from like 2010 ish to 2015 there was kind of a wave of people talking about cyber hair and you know trying to basically sell it what happens after that i don't really know but what we can do is take a look at this stuff and, and see you know if it's quality right if it's something that it's something we would consider so this video right here is from 2009 this is from cybermain uh, I found this video. This is this is a crazy one. All right, so uh, you know they go on to describe a couple things inside of this video, and I'm just going to fast forward through. But one of the things that they talk about is that uh, here is what actual hair looks like up here in this corner right here. Um, what actual hair looks like under a microscope. So we can see that there's ridges in it and somewhat textured. This is cyber hair over here in the top right, polyester fiber and motocrylic fiber. So interestingly, what they're probably trying to solve here, right, is uh, is this problem right here. Now, if you look at this image right here, um, I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger for you. If we if we look right here uh, at this image, synthetic wigs, synthetic hair uh, definitely doesn't look 100 percent natural. It just it has too much of a shine, too much of a gloss. It also doesn't really retain moisture. Uh, there's a couple of different problems with it. One it doesn't retain curl. The sheen on it is a little bit wrong. The overall, it's just not something that you want if you're looking for a perfect match with real hair. And if you try to mix and match, it's really going to uh, show a difference if you know what I'm saying, because you know the, the two hair types are, are so disconnected. So essentially this slide right here is showing that because of the texture being closer to human hair, that it actually performs and looks a little bit more like human hair. Of course, you know, this video right here is coming out of 2009 um, and it's not exactly the highest quality. So we can't do a thorough analysis like we can in today's like HD and 4K stuff. But uh, this chart was interesting. I don't know if this is scientifically accurate, but we'll, we'll just assume it is because this is, you know, marketing material, which as we all know is always scientifically accurate, right? Never any type of hyperinflation of the truth or anything like that. So uh, this chart right here shows cyber hair, human hair, and then these are the two types of synthetic. I know I can't read them exactly, but right here uh, it says most color fast. And I think what that means is uh, the hair, this holds color, dyed color the best, uh, lightness and weight of the hair itself, moisture content, so how it well retains moisture, curl retention, and then durability. And on this chart, right, it's really interesting. Like this is obviously a clear winner, except for just one area, which is moisture content, the ability to hold moisture, and it comes in second to human hair. But it outperforms human hair as far as its ability to hold color, like 
human hair is terrible, which is one of the problems that we have. Uh, lightness and weight, it's the lightest out of all of this stuff. So maybe this is actually a better quality material for those that have a, um, a certain thinness or you know their hair diameter isn't as thick although thin lightness does not indicate the diameter change it could just be uh, a, a weight that's lighter even though the diameter is the same uh, moisture content doesn't hold it as well as human hair curl retention is really interesting uh it's rated as number one which i i, I don't know if this is accurate because human hair does reset back to its normal curl. So this might be talking about something like I may not be understanding this. Um, and then durability, it holds up the best, meaning like human hair is the worst because it can break, it can snap, it can uh, it can fray, all that sorts of stuff. So that's an interesting chart that I found in this video right here and I thought it was worth actually sharing. Um, and this video right here, see th this, is, this is like an interesting part uh, right here. They're comparing some of the different strands of hair, human hair, synthetic cyber hair, and they're basically showing that cyber hair looks like human hair like it's tends to fragment in water the same human hair cyber hair uh they they look similar while wet where synthetic doesn't look the same here they're showing that basically human hair relaxes to its natural curl synthetic kind of straightens out loses all of its curl and the cyber hair once again kind of goes back to that natural hair um the, the curl, if you will, that's found in it. So I thought that was really, really interesting. This whole video is really salesy though, so I, I can't place too much stock in it because of that. I found this right here and I thought this was interesting because uh, you know this were, it's a little bit more recent, 2012. Uh, we can see this guy with wet hair. Of course, we can't see you know the hairline. We can't see the texture of the hair, but this is a pretty good picture, high quality, um, and it looks pretty good. Honestly, this color looks a little bit different than this, but that's okay. Uh, that's not where we're judging. Um, but what I did find, this is the most recent thing that I found. This is actually from 2019. Um, and this is a six part series coming out of uh, King's Head Hair Salon. And he has a six part series talking about installing a actual hair system that is cyber hair into this guy. I'm actually gonna go back to uh, what he looked like before just to, to show you guys. Right here, they go into you know creating the custom molds. That way, it's perfectly secured on your head. Yeah, we we know how to do that. So this is what his hair looks like. You know, this is his natural hair, and then we get over here, and this is what it looks like. So uh, I'm curious, what do you guys think in this right here? I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Center his head right there. I'm just gonna play the video here. To me, so obviously there's a light that's overhead. Right Right here, that's the reason why this is a little bit brighter. It's the same color. Uh, it looks perhaps a little bit more reflective than the hair on the sides of his head, although I don't know because it, it could just be based off of the fact of where the light is, but... Uh, the one thing I will say is it doesn't look like his natural hair is refracting as much light as this right here. Like there seems to be somewhat of a line right here. So that's my first concern is the like light refraction. I'm looking for a point in the video where he might actually kind of like tilt his head a little bit more to the side because I want to see how this right here uh, hits the light. If it hits it in the same way or if it's a little different. So. So the reason that I'm being kind of hypercritical about this right here is because um, I, I just think it's interesting. Like it's not a complete game changer. I, I think this looks pretty good. But if we look right over here and compare it with here, you know, this could just be because of the way that the light is set up. I'm not sure. Um, so we might not have any light refracting off here. Could be refracting off the back of his head over on this side, like if the hair is over here. But interestingly, this is why it seems just just ever so slightly off. Um, if you look at this guy's hair right here, this is natural hair. If you look right here, you see how uh, the light highlights uh, parts of his hair, how like there's these these highlighted parts, but it's really just, you know, the hair catching the light and reflecting it um, right here where I'm not seeing it on this guy. It could be the way the light is set up in proportion to these two guys, but I think it's because that cyber hair might have a little bit more reflectivity uh, than natural human hair, if that makes sense. Yeah, see, if we pause it right here, there's like a little bit of light that's being caught right here. Not a ton, but there, there is a slight difference there. So um, in, in my mind right here, that's, that's the one thing that I have seen so far when it comes to um, how this actually plays out and um, how it looks. So, you know, that's, that's just my initial thoughts. 
I am going to play this guy's testimonial though, uh, just so you can hear what he does think of this, because I think that's only fair. Uh, if we're gonna be talking about it, let's actually hear what this guy thinks about it, how he feels about it, and if he likes it. So I'm gonna play this, and I'm just gonna shut up in the background, and uh, after that, we'll, we'll talk about it, closing thoughts, all that kind of fun stuff. First game here to King's Head, I was really nervous, but Dave really took care of me. Um, He's been in the business for a long time, and you can truly sense that he really cares about you. Um, you get your own private suite when you come here to King's Head, and he does a custom job. And my main concern was when I put this hair piece on, I want it to fit like a glove. I don't want it to come off. I don't want to be scared it's going to come off. And with that custom, with that custom mold that he does, it's secure. I know it's not coming off. And that tape, when I put the tape, because I'm someone that do, does the tape, that tape is so sticky, it just on my head all day. And I could be running around the school, I could be jogging a marathon, I could be swimming. It has never failed on me. So it's. 100% perfect for me I'm in just the compliments that I get in my in my profession um, I'm a teacher so when I started wearing this the compliments I got from the students were amazing and you know kids kids have no filter right they just say what's on their mind and I thought I was gonna get roasted for someone who put a put a wig on but no uh, when I went to school the next day with it on with my first day the compliments were just overwhelming about how great it looked how natural it was Dave does a wonderful job here at Kingshead with the color matching so and that was a huge concern that it looks real and then it feels real and that's not gonna come off so you know, the, the confidence it's given me has just been amazing. And it's a funny thing that happened to me. I went to church on Sunday and my pastor, he came to shake my hand. He said, welcome to our church. <laughs> like I was a new member and then he looked at my daughter. He's like, oh, you look fantastic. <laughs> so it really does, it really does um, take years. It really rolls back the clock. It's like a fountain of youth. So, and uh, I feel extremely uh, uh, grateful to have found Dave. So thank you very much, Dave. Love you, man. Thank you. So that's what we have to go off of as far as cyber hair. Everything else uh, I've seen online is just kind of like mentioning it briefly. It doesn't really go into depth. So we're kind of having to piece things together and just go off of the info and the data that we have, which, you know, honestly isn't a ton right now. But I do have a connect to, uh, I think, the company that makes cyber hair, like that actually uh, has the patent on it. So if you guys would like to see me try some cyber hair, uh, try a hair system with it, see how it matches, see how it looks that could be really interesting because the advantages of cyber hair are of course that it lasts way longer uh there's reports out there that it lasts over a year and that it doesn't break it's not fragile stuff like that as you saw in the chart the durability is really really long so that's the advantage uh and it makes sense that people would want to get something that lasts much much longer right uh less money that you have to spend in the long run so Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Thanks to Lord Hair for sponsoring the video, and uh, we'll catch you soon.